What's going on everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio. Quick video here. Uh, apologies, I did not get this one in last night. Had a lot of stuff to do right after training camp, and I've been on like three hours sleep the last bunch of nights, so could not get this one in yesterday, but I figured I would read through the five pages worth of notes that I have here. Uh, interesting practice, very long practice. Uh, the first hour or so, it was a lot of individuals, special teams work. Kind of felt like it was just going to be a light day. And then they did probably a half hour's worth of uh, team drills, did a little more special teams, and then they got back into team drills, did another 45 minutes or so um, in that period. And I know Salah, when he met the media, he said they essentially ran three quarters worth of plays today, certainly felt that way. Um, bunch of notes I got here, you know, punt return, still Gibson, Codrington, and Corley back there. Um, first set of team drills, the offense struggled mightily. Um, you know, even Rodgers, he showed some good mobility, buying some extra time when there was some pressure, but not a whole lot of completions, and then Tyrod came in at one point. He had to call timeout, kind of had his hands up at Hackett, like he either didn't understand the play or the personnel that was in there. There was some kind of confusion, so they had to talk for a little bit. Um, and, and the first play out of the timeout, Eric Watts had a pressure. Tyrod had to scramble, barely even got the ball back to the line of scrimmage. Um, then there was a – then Peasley came in, and it was the same thing where he had to call timeout bring everyone back to the huddle. So just a, a little bit of disarray, it seemed like, early on. Peasley, I guess you understand it a little more as a, as a young quarterback. Tyrod, I don't know if that was an issue with him, not understanding the play, or just you know somebody else that wasn't there that was supposed to be, seemed a little bit confused. Um, as far as personnel goes, they still had Clemens working with uh, Jermaine Johnson early on with the ones. That changed later on. Will McDonald was getting a lot more reps. He did not look very good. Got stonewalled a bunch of times, you know, especially by Moses. I think even Fashanu once. Um, seems like Moses was just very familiar with, you know, ready for the spin move, kind of knows his game. You're not really going to catch him off guard. Um, Koontz was in there actually with the, with the ones, I, I know Sala mentioned that Rucker is out now with a concussion, so they gave Koontz a little bit of run with the ones for like the first play or two, didn't notice him after that getting any time with the ones, uh, Tyron Smith was out there early on, um, but he didn't do any work with the, uh, with the second half of team drills, Eccles was getting a lot of work in the slot, Gibson was back out there in the slot, they, they featured him on some end arounds, fake end arounds. Uh, one in particular where Jermaine Johnson just absolutely blew up Kenny Yaboa, put him on his back, and stuffed the Gibson for probably like a two or three yard loss. So you wonder about the tight end position right now. Um, Yaboa, it just seemed like, was having a phenomenal camp last year. Haven't noticed him as much this year. Kuntz, I, I felt physically looked completely different. Then you go to the preseason game, he had the drop. Haven't seen a whole lot of him uh, you know, making plays in training camp either. And then Conklin also, there were two separate passes from Rodgers today where it was great throw, solid coverage, ball hit him right in the fingertips. Tough catch, but you would hope he would hold on to it. Both of them he dropped. So it seemed like kind of a rough day for the tight ends. Um, what else do I got here? Jalen Holmes, he was getting some work with the uh, the ones and twos as well. Uh, in the first half, same thing with uh, Sheffield and Swilling, but that was only a couple plays they came out, so I don't know if that was just to, to get a look at something. Corley had a nice end around for about 20 yards. Uh, later on, he also had a, I, I like the package that they had, where they had Brees Hall out wide, they motioned Corley into the backfield. He had a nice probably 5 or 10 yard run off of that. Um, a few other guys, Solomon Thomas had a nice run stuff. Uh, Fodu and Zaire Barnes, they combined on another one. Um yeah, Tack McKinley also, you know, he was another guy that had a, he had a would-be sack, I, I think on, uh, it was Martinez who stepped up, ultimately hit Valaday deep, but probably would have been a sack for McKinley, and with Valaday, that's, that, again, it probably wouldn't have been a, a catch in a real game, but uh, he still burned whoever the defender was on him, and that, I'm pretty sure that's the second deep ball that he's had in about 10 days or so, so I feel like at this point, we've seen a little bit more out of Valaday coming out of the backfield than anything we've seen out of Izzy. Um, but that fourth spot, if they do keep a fourth running back, I would assume it probably comes down to whoever offers the most on special teams. Izzy, I will credit, he did have a, a nice blitz pickup on one play uh, later on in the second half of team drills. Um, Jermaine Johnson uh, had a uh, would-be sack on Max Mitchell at one point, and this is all still in the, the first half of team drills here. Um, Roger stepped up with some pressure in the pocket, hit Gibson downfield on another nice throw. Um, I mentioned the one with Conklin. It was triple coverage, just a perfect throw by Rodgers. Looked like Conklin should have had it, but it was a tough catch. Uh, Fashanu did have a, a really nice pass block on Tack McKinley. It almost looked like he got beat off the line of scrimmage, but had nice recovery. Bought Tyrod some extra time, although the pass was still incomplete. 
Um, I had noted at one point in the first half of team drills, it seemed like Tack McKinley wasn't getting as much pressure when he started going up against Olu, and I'm pretty sure it was either Mitchell or Carter Warren. Um, seemed like he was kind of getting stonewalled a little bit. And then in the second half of team drills, he just turned it on, had a couple, I think, run stuffs or a couple would-be sacks. I remember he was just constantly in the backfield, one in particular where he just beat Moses off the edge. That was probably the only time I remember Moses getting beat on the day. Um... What else do I got here? Yeah, Will McDonald, unfortunately, did not look good today. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned, uh, you know, Moses just seemed like he, he was kind of very familiar with what McDonald was planning to do. Um, also had another play where he bit on Aaron Rodgers' hard count, offsides, Rodgers tossed it up. I forget who, I'm pretty sure it was Tony Adams and somebody else. It was a 60-yard deep ball. I think it was actually Eccles. Eccles and Tony Adams, 60-yard touchdown to Garrett Wilson. So that was kind of like the highlight of the uh, the first half of team drills. Other than that, didn't notice a whole lot. Um, Corley did have a drop later on, and he also bobbled a kickoff return on special teams. So you know, maybe something to watch there with his hands. I'm still not panicked yet. I, I love his game. Um, off to the side, I noticed it was... Um, Malik Taylor, Michael Carter, and still Mike Williams. They're still not out there for team drills yet. I'm not really sure what's up with Malik Taylor. Didn't see Rucker doing any work, but again, he's got the concussion, so I'm sure he's going to be out completely for a couple days. And then the final set of team drills, again, this one lasted like 30 to 45 minutes. This period was extra long. I have all the plays essentially written down here, so I'll just go play by play. Um, the first drive with the ones lasted at least like 10 minutes, although it stalled in the, in the red zone. The first play... Brees had an absolute truck stick on Quincy Williams. Uh, it was a quick dump off, just completely ran him over. And it's not full tackling right now. You always see the linebackers and you know D linemen when they they know they have the play, they kind of let up at the end. And it seems like Brees, and then later on it was uh, Braylon Allen on Mosley. They're just still running through contact, looking to truck guys. So that one in particular, like he put uh, Quincy on his butt, and you know Quincy kind of got up like you know what the hell are you doing? Um, but they, they looked like they joked about it, but he was still a little bit upset. Um, Eccles had a really good practice. Uh, him and Clark, they stopped a quick screen to Conklin on one play. He had a few others uh, later on that I think he made back-to-back -back plays to, to end a drive. I forget if it was with the ones or twos. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I was locked on uh, John Simpson a lot in the second half of team drills as well. There was a period of like four or five plays where it seemed like each play he was just putting somebody on his ass. Um, you know, Clemens, uh, I think was the victim at least two or three times, one on a quick screen to Brees, uh, another one where, um, he just destroyed him on a, a pass to Allen. Then you had Moses locking up Clemens on a completion to Corley. So I, I have not seen a lot out of Clemens. have not seen a lot out of, out of Will McDonald. From that perspective, I guess maybe you could say there's a little more, um, leverage in Reddick's camp if, if neither of these guys really step up right now. Seems like the depth players are, are playing a little bit better. Eric Watts had a bunch of pressures. I mentioned Tack McKinley. He was all over the place getting into the backfield. So I wonder at some point if you start looking at those guys to, to get a little bit more work with the ones. Um, but yeah, the, the first period with the ones, it actually ended on uh, on back-to-back -back plays with Eccles. Uh, there was a quick, a quick screen to Gibson. He was all over that one. <clears throat> and then the, uh, the next play was a uh, deep ball to Corley. Locked them up in the end zone, so that ended the uh, the first period of team drills. Uh, when the twos came out, Zay Davis he had the first run. Uh, Olu was getting some work at right tackle. Carter Warren at left tackle. Kind of surprising that Glasser was getting work at center. He was getting some snaps there with Schweitzer at left guard. Um, third down, they ended up throwing it away, but then they reset the downs. And the first play was a, a nice handoff. It, nothing wrong with it, but then uh, Davis just fumbled it, had to jump on it. So ball security is obviously going to be very important, so something to pay attention maybe with uh, with him there. Um, with the twos, they also had a long drive after that little mess to kind of start. Uh, Olu, he locked up tack on the next play. Irv Charles, who had a, a great practice, he had a 20-yard catch. Um, later on, he had a, a deep ball from Rodgers where he had at least three guys on him, bobbled it, the ball was kind of up in the air, and he just kept going, caught it, Walked right into the end zone, so really nice job by Irv Charles. And again, he's 6'4", 220 pounds. We know that he's essentially going to be the uh, the Justin Hardy this year on special teams, but you wonder if he could actually contribute a little bit more on the offensive side of the ball. I know last year, and I think the year before, I'm pretty sure he's been here two years. Um, you know, He's been making plays, so somebody to watch there on the back end of the wide receiver group. Maybe can challenge Brownlee a little bit. Um, I, I mentioned Izzy had a nice uh, uh, pickup on a blitz. Gave uh, Tyrod some time to throw, hit Brownlee on a long completion. Um, next play, this was where Izzy was sp uh, split out wide. They motioned Corley into the backfield, got a nice gain on that. 
Um, I noted uh, Jalen Key, he was looking pretty comfortable, made a couple nice run stuffs, uh, looked pretty rangy. And then Tyrod, he had a touchdown to Irv Charles, which was over Stiggers. And Stiggers, at one point, he was a little banged up. I think he came up, he was holding his wrist a little bit. Um, and then in the second half, it seemed like he got beat a couple times. So you wonder if, you know, maybe that was, you know, affecting his ability to jam guys at the line or, you know, kind of play his game. But yeah, Irv Charles had that touchdown. And then the later one, which I'm pretty sure was with Rodgers on that deep ball. Uh, then they went back to the ones here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just waking up. Um, Surratt was in there for uh, for Sherwood on the first couple plays. Had a nice run stuff. Uh, Ashton Davis was still in there. He, you know, he's getting some work with, uh, you know, some three safety looks and him and Clark were kind of rotating in and out at times. So I feel like that's going to be the plan there where they're just kind of splitting reps a little bit. Um, Mitchell had another block where he just absolutely bodied Will McDonald. This was a, a drop by Raylan Allen. Um, looked like it was a bad throw, but then Rogers was kind of motioning like maybe he should have ran the route a little bit differently. Um, the next play was where Allen just absolutely lowered his shoulder on Mosley on a quick throw to the sideline. Definitely wasn't as bad as the one on, uh, on Quincy from Brees, um, but still looked like Mosley was a little bit pissed off. After that, Allen had a huge run. Mitchell and Simpson were at least 20 yards downfield leading the way. So Simpson had a, a really great practice, like I mentioned, just, you know, throwing guys around in particular, looked like Clemens a couple times. Um, Tack, and this was the, the one play that I, I think Moses got beat on. Tack had a, a nice move. Uh, showing some speed around the corner for a would-be sack. Next play, got around Mitchell. Looked like it was going to be a hold as Rodgers scrambled for, uh, for 10 yards. So nice job by Tack McKinley getting some work against guys that are, you know, with the, the ones and twos where, you know, he was always beating Ezzy and uh, Austin Deckless. Kind of hard to judge him from that. But when he's, when he's making plays against Moses and Max Mitchell, that's where you could say, all right, maybe we do have something here. Um, later on, there was a nice back shoulder uh, touchdown from Aaron Rodgers to Garrett Wilson on Sauce. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't a touchdown. This was uh, when they got into the red zone. Just a perfect throw. There was no way for Sauce to even defend it. Um, just perfect ball placement. Garrett was ready for it. So you're starting to see the chemistry really take off there. Garrett was starting to make a, a little bit more plays in the, in the second half of team drills um, after the, the touchdown to end the first half of it. Um, Will McDonald did have a nice run stop on goal line. I think that might've been like the only play that he really did make on the day that I remembered or that I, that I noted. Um, Jalen Holmes had a nice run stuff after that. And then on the third and goal from the six, Gary Wilson had the touchdown. He was in the slot. Looked like had a, a quick slant over the middle. Pretty sure Chuck Clark got beat on that. Uh, Zavin Valade, he had a nice big run getting around the corner. It looked like he took it to the house, honestly, but they marked it at the 50-yard line. Not sure if a defender just kind of held up a little bit, but I thought he had an opportunity to take it to the house. So a couple big plays by Valade. You wonder if he legitimately has a chance to, you know, take that spot away from Izzy, along with Deion Jackson as well. Um, other than that, not a whole lot. I'm pretty sure I got to most of my notes. I don't want to keep rambling here. You know, a few other guys made catches. Brandon Smith, Winstead. Um, you know, they had some some short completions. Brownlee dropped a touchdown on third and three. It was a quick slant. Great throw from uh, from Martinez. Was right in Brownlee's hands. Definitely should have caught it. Um, and then the fourth and three, Eric Watts, he had a nice pressure that forced a bad throw, and that was the end of that. And then they finished up with the two-minute drill. Apologies, this video is going way too long. My bad. I wrote way too many notes. Um, they, they started the two-minute drill first and ten from the 28. There was like a minute and two left on the clock. Rodgers went for a bomb on the first play. Alan Lazard touchdown but I think Sauce probably could have made the tackle but it was still a great catch double coverage uh they ruled him down at the 40 so Lazard still making some plays as we progress through camp um next play the ball came out really weird on a on an incompletion looked like there was a little bit of pressure and it just hit the ground before the line of scrimmage looked like it kind of slipped out of Rogers hand almost um and then the next play, he hit Brees Hall right in the back. Would have been probably, you know, at least 15, 20 yards. He had some room to run in front of him, but Brees didn't even turn around. And Rodgers was kind of animated after the pass, um, where him and uh, him and Brees talked about it before they got back to the huddle. Um, the next one was an unexpected snap, went right over Rodgers' head. There were no bad snaps on the day, and I, I should probably preface this. They, um, or I should probably explain, they did ultimately call it a penalty on the defense. Both sides were pointing at each other. Um, but nobody on the offense moved. Tipman snapped it over Rogers' head, but it looked like somebody must have jumped on the on the defensive side because they did move the ball five yards up. Um, next play, uh, another hard count from Rogers got somebody to jump. That was the second ball that was off the fingertips of Conklin. Then they got a first down to Lazard on a on. on he was actually on Sauce on that one. Actually, a quick out to the sideline. Um, so good to see Lazard actually making plays against Sauce too. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's mostly it. 
uh, the the two minute drive finished with uh, the touchdown from Rodgers to Brees. That was the play that was posted all over social media. Great catch in the corner of the end zone by Brees. Uh, they needed the two point conversion to tie it, and that's where uh, Corley converted. He was wide open. Looked like the defensive backs almost collided. Couldn't tell if it was offensive pass interference or not on Garrett Wilson, but Corley had nobody within like ten yards of him, so that tied it up there. And then they did the uh, the two minute drill again with Tyrod Taylor, and this is where Irv Charles really stepped up. Had a long gain over the middle on Stiggers, um, and then he had another completion on uh, Ashton Davis and um, Darius Monroe. This was the one that he uh, he bobbled, had the both guys all over him. The ball was up in the air for a second or two, somehow came down with it. And then uh, on the two-point conversion, that's where the ball just went off McCutcheon's hand. So they did the uh, the same thing with Peasley, but they, they started inside the 10 on the red zone. So I don't know if this was just a red zone drill or um, they were just getting him, him some work to end it. Leonard Taylor made a nice tackle for a loss. Uh, first time I had noticed him. Aguavin also had a nice, uh, a nice tackle on a quick pass to Valade. And then uh, the third down, Tanzel Smart, he had a pressure. Peasley ran it. Hard to tell if the defense would have had him in a real game or not, but that's where practice ended. Defense did push up. So apologies for the long video, 16 minutes, my bad. But had a lot of notes, figured I'd share them. Talk to you guys later.